So there is a big advancement going on. In April issue of the New England Journal of Medicine, they have uh, reported a new drug for schizophrenia. Unlike anything out there, and it appears to work dramatically better without a lot of the motor side effects, the tics, the metabolic changes in uh, insulin, glucose, triglycerides, cholesterol. It's called CEP 36, 38, 56. It's by Synovian. And now you think, well, is that some uh, experimental drug? No. You, if you want to, you can call up Synovian, Synovian Pharmaceuticals, and get involved in the trial. So let me do a little history here. The, the theory behind schizophrenia is it's an overabundance of dopamine. So you have dopamine in the mesolimbic tract, which is a tract in your brain. Dopamine is like a rail car that goes on this mesolimbic tract throughout areas in your brain. From the midbrain, throughout the limbic area. And this part, uh, this tract is what causes hallucinations, delusions, disorganized speech and behavior. Great. So they blocked it. The, all the old drugs block dopamine, the, the D2 receptor. So it treats the hallucinations. Here's the problem. There are three other tracts in the brain that have dopamine that travel on their pathways. The mesocortical, and that causes, when you block that, you get apathy, a blunted affect where you just sort of stare, you have no initiative, you don't laugh, you don't cry, you're sort of Frankenstein-like, you're just like this. Okay, then there's another one called the nigrostriatal, and when you block it there, you get spasms. You get tics and tardive dyskinesia and funny movements like this rabbit syndrome, lip smacking, pill rolling. It's called tardive dyskinesia. You get extrapyramidal symptoms, which are like muscle torticollis of your neck, it's called. Okay, not good. These are all the old drugs. So all the old drugs fall into this class. They also block another track, uh, tubule and fundibular track, which... When you block that, it increases prolactin. So men, women can get milk in their breasts and men can get breasts. Not a good thing. But those drugs were all we had. So all the classes of antipsychotics for schizophrenia, schizoaffective disorder, and bipolar that were used blocked dopamine. But now this new drug, CEP 36, 38, 56, it works on a different receptor. It does not work on the dopamine D2 receptor. It works on the TAR receptor, T-A-A-R-1. And what that does, when you stimulate that trace amine-associated receptor agonist, when you stimulate that receptor, which no one's ever used before, what it does is it decreases dopamine release. Thus, we have a decrease in dopamine and we have treatment for schizophrenia, less dopamine, you treat it without all the other horrible side effects. And those other drugs, all the other antipsychotics, this one is unique. It's a unique class. It does not block dopamine. So all those horrible effects and all the metabolic effects of weight gain and increased cholesterol and elevation of glucose and insulin resistance and increased triglycerides and um, elevation of cholesterol, predisposing you to diabetes and causing diabetes, they really were not good metabolically. It's called a metabolic syndrome. This does not cause it. This new drug stimulates that TAR receptor, T-A-A-R-1. So it is a major breakthrough. It's the biggest breakthrough in the treatment of schizophrenia, probably since chlorpromazine came in, in the 1950s. This is a monumental change. And in the study in that New England Journal of a medicine article in April, it really worked well. Um, the symptoms were treated better than the other antidepressants. So I'm looking at this as a major breakthrough. This drug also functions antidepressant-like by stimulating another receptor, the happy receptor, the serotonin 5-HT1A receptor. That's the happy one. Stimulate it, you get happy. Stimulate the TAR, 
one, and you don't have as much dopamine. So this will be incredible because all the side effects you saw in people with schizophrenia, because it affected all those tracks we didn't want to affect, it blocked dopamine. You don't get that with this new one. This is a major breakthrough. Um, Synovian is on to something huge with this new TAR-1 receptor agonist drug. Uh, I think if you have schizophrenia and nothing else works, you might want to call them up and get in one of the studies because it, it looks amazing. I have to say that. Anyway, I appreciate the likes, subscribers. Um, I'm on TikTok now, Instagram. Check me out. Uh, and also my website, put an article up every week, dragressi.com. Oh, by the way, all these videos are also on my website. Go to dragressi.com and go to videos.